Maybe you went about it the wrong way. You have to ease people with phobias into their fears. It's like easing a cougar into a hot tub. It's not about the elevators. He can't accept the fact that I'm an imperfect person. Perfect, that's what you are. And you can't accept anything that's not. Everything has to be just so with you. You're always trying to fix me, making me feel like less of a human when I fall short of your image of what a perfect woman should be. I'm hearing that perhaps you're not secure with who you are. Maybe we should leave. Are you kidding? It's just getting juicy. <sighs> Ellen, do you love yourself? Yes. Do you love me? I do. Although, sometimes I feel like you're just trying to hurt me because you're dissatisfied with yourself. Oh! It was John Amos with Betty White! Why did you come here tonight? To torture me? No, Virgil! Stop putting words in my mouth! You're trying to analyze me again! And it makes me feel like I'm stupid! Sometimes I feel like you love your work more than you love me. Maybe that's why I'm such a bitch sometimes. Ellen, I want to help people. I'd love to help people. Neither of us is perfect, and I know that. I wouldn't want that. It's just that it's in my nature to try and help when I see another human being in need of assistance. Especially so in this case, because I love you. I love you. So why are we fighting? Because you feel that he tries to make you small, can't accept your flaws, and puts you second behind his work, and he feels that you are dissatisfied with who you are, are unable to accept help, and are intentionally trying to hurt him. Thanks, Rich. We got it.